What's up, everybody? What's up, Mr. Cheezel? <laughs> hey, you, Dante. <laughs> you ever see Grandpa's boy? What is wrong with you? I'm How in a good mood. What did you do? I'm in right a good mood. I, I got sleep last night. I had oh, a great wow, show that's last new. night. That's it's weird. I yeah, know. Yeah. I took everyone's advice. They were like, Nick, you should probably try sleeping at sure. least in a 48 hour period. Try to cram in like six hours. Did that. Finished the Adventures of Ford Fairlane early last night. Was going to go to God of War, but then I was like, no, let's go to sleep. Couldn't sleep for two hours. Doesn't matter. I'm feeling good today. Okay, good. I want to just run you through where my thought, my brain was. Did you see the movie Grandma's Boy, which I saw no, the year did. I started at IGN? Did you not ever watch see it. that. Okay. They had the solid snake statue that we used to have at sure, IGN. Sure, of course they did, yeah. There's a great part in it where one of the guys, one of the friends, you know what? I'm going to save it for you. You're going to watch it. We'll talk about that later. I'm never going to watch that'll it. Be your, that'll uh, that'll be your required I've viewing. come this far. Why would I watch it's it now? It's so funny. It's, it's such so a good, good movie. Everyone always said the movie, like when they'd come visit IGN, they'd say this is like Grandma's Boy. It looks exactly the same. It was yeah. trippy. It was really good. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Morning Show uh, for April 25th. It's third. It's Wednesday. It is T minus one day. Oh my God! For Infinity Don't War. It is Infinity War Eve, ladies and gentlemen, and we're excited. There are some people uh, in yesterday's video. Uh, on YouTube who left some comments saying, hey, it's already out in my country. I've already seen Don't it. Don't fucking tell me anything about it. Shut you, up. That's it. Yeah. I read that far, took my laptop, shut it, threw, threw it away. against the wall. We'll get banned Just threw it against the wall. Spoiler. We'll ban the shit Do out of you. Do not spoil this movie what? for anyone. If you spoil it for anyone, just make sure it's not me. I actually don't care if you spoil it for people. Just make sure I don't see that. Now, the odds of me seeing something spoilerific on the internet, very small. You don't use the internet. I don't pay attention. Yeah. And You're... that's not by design. It's just by the genetic makeup of my being. This is Greg Miller, by the way. Hey, everybody. It's me, Greg listening. Miller. What's up? At Game Over Greggy. Woo, 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 woo. Man, you guys were having a good week. I walked in yesterday, and you guys were giddy. What? Yeah. You had a, you were having a spoiler cast thing going on. Uh, you Corey had Corey Barlog. Barlog here. His beard's looking fantastic. Of course, as he does. Um, it unfortunately does not hold a candle to Tim Getty's beard, and that's going to be our big topic for today. B -b -b big topic, Tim to Getty's bump, bump, bump. beard. AJ, we need a big, b -b big topic What is graphic. this? What is this mean? I just want a big topic Oh, graphic. there you got it. We just gave it you. B -b -b big topic if, graphic. I've decided that if this show can't be good content-wise, it's going to have a lot Graphic of bells wise. and whistles. Yeah. Graphic-wise. It'll right, just cool. have lots of Real things Real great for the audio listeners. It'll be a lot like a radio show where it's like, what's up, everybody? Yeah, Welcome yeah. to KCRW. It's KC the morning zoo with yeah. Chino's fingers. Oh, 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 nice oh, oh, you know, Where it's like, what kind of fucking they just pull things animal is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like it. That's uh, if you guys did not know, was that a goose? Yeah, it was one of those big fucking comical belt, like a... Where do you come down on foie gras? Don't like it. Yeah, I don't have any effect. Like you don't I know have people, the moral problems with it. No, I have no moral problems with that. I think that if animals wanted to fight back, they should get smarter. Your call. Um, you know, we evolved. Like, What's your excuse, Goose? You know, there's plenty. Of, there's 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 lots of uh, stupid human beings out there, uh, but they're smart enough to not get eaten. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's literally people out there that eat Tide Pods. That's how yeah. fucking yeah, they're stupid dumb, people they're big are. Dumbies, yeah. And yet still, these dumb geese. <laughs> Can't figure out trapped out there. How to you know fucking mean? learn karate yeah. and come back. They got bro. wings. They got away. fucking wings. You know what I mean? I've seen Kung Fu Panda. Okay. Yeah. I know that birds can fight. This is true. Um no, I just don't like the taste of it. Really? Yeah, yeah it's not. Really. I mean, if you spread it on a, a, a crostini, yeah. then yeah, that's how it's supposed to be, but I don't eat carbs. So I usually just end up eating spoonfuls of it, and yeah. it makes me my tum tum sick. Everything I mean, makes your tum tum sick, though. Dude, I, was, I almost threw up yesterday. I, I know, I heard you in the bathroom dry heaving. I tried. Yeah, yeah. It didn't work. Me and Tim just did that thing where you were dry heaving, we just looked at each other, and like, we started laughing. Not at your expense, no, no, no. but just of the absurdity of me, him and I doing work. He was here. <laughs> Why are I, I don't know. I went and got burgers. Uh, not Beef's Burgers. No, not record. Beef's Burgers. Went to Hall of Flame. I've never gotten sick at Hall of Flame before. Walked out, felt totally fine. Got in the car, and I think Tim like made a uh, like a juke move where he like slowed down too much and then kind of made it to the left. And my the stomach up. went to the right, and, and I was never just boo. I was sick all day. I was sick all the way up until like maybe an hour before my set last night. And then I started. And then Cool Greg showed up, and he just took it all away from me. Sure. He was like, he's sure. Mutant power. Contact high. Contact high. Yeah. Take it away from me. Cool Greg and I, of course, uh, bond when no one's looking. I know. Yeah. We had a great conversation about his art and his future and my future and my art. It was fantastic. Is, is um, his art graffiti? Uh, he's got lots of art. It's okay. off the world. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't like to. We don't put it in a box. We don't. We don't. No, I don't mean intrude. I don't want to get in your personal space. No, 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 no. Having your bonding times. No, no. We just bond. We're just talking. We're just, we're just flowing. You know, like what do you want to sure. do? What are you going to do? What sure. is, what's going on? Because Cool Greg has infinite potential. Infinite potential. And he's incredibly fascinating to talk to, especially when he ha when he's had a couple. Yeah. So I was trying to plow him with drugs, so it was funnier. So he would, because like I come off, because he never laughs at anything I do. Yeah. So when I come off the stage, I look at him. He's like, "Good shit." 
That's yeah. like the, the top compliment he's ever given me. Yeah. Not like you were hilarious. Hey, you've got a future in this. He's hey, like you're Kratos. not wasting your yeah, he's, he's just like, like you're not ready trace. yet. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, am I ever Dad, am I ever gonna be? But it's that a thing, Dad. Little kids. Time What's time his name? Atreus? Atreus. Did they steal that from the never ending story? I'm not Did you ask Cory Barlock? No. Is this part of the never ending is, story? Is the kid named Atreus in never ending story? Atreus, yeah. That's the kid's well, name. Not the kid. I just said a different name. The kid reading the 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 book is named uh Danny McGlover, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, nobody remembers him. <laughs> Who the hell knows? Yeah. All right, let me do the spiel, and then we'll get back to this. Here's my question. Wait, let me do the spiel. All right, give me, give me the question. Well, Fuck while the spiel. While Nick runs know, through the watch. spiel ah. opening the morning show, you need to think, what is the longest running kind of funny joke? Because you were, you said bongos. Bongos is up there. Yeah, it's up there, but I don't. I definitely, I mean, you know, Garbage Shark on Fire, isn't it? does that count? Yeah, that does yeah, count. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's more of a reality. It's, well, it's a reality for yeah. sure. Yeah. Joey, what's your take on this? What's the longest running joke Garbage that you can think of? Thing. Garbage Truck on Fire probably is it. Because we've been saying that since literally the start of the it's show. It's a joke. That's just a description. It's a joke. We're pretty professional. Hey, we're, we're live today. Better now. Nothing has gone bad so far. Really uh, knock on linoleum. We haven't done housekeeping yet. That's we're not. I'm still good. You guys think about that. If you guys did not know, if you're new to the show, of course, we do this each and every day here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, 11 a.m. Pacific time or 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. As everyone in England has been so kind to remind me, hey, Nick, stop calling it a morning show. It's nighttime where we're at. And I say, oi, governor. Go for it. Oi, you. governor. There you go. There you Sorry go. Sorry the time zones, actually. Sort it out. We don't understand time zones. We're in America. It's not our fault. Okay, we don't have uh, schools here or healthcare. Uh, of course, if you guys can't watch live, I totally get it. You're like, hey, I just got off work. We post this to YouTube every day, and I've seen a lot of great comments uh, on all those episodes. Please keep those up. I try to get back to each and every one of you, unless you leave a shitty comment, in which case I purposely don't interact with you whatsoever. So if you don't have, if you said something shitty, and you don't get a like on that, that's either by design or the fact that I didn't see it. And you'll never know. I keep them guessing. Keep them on their toes, man. I guess that's one way to do. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Now what is it's this? What is that? It's a weird naked. God, look at look, when you do it. Look at how fucking no. Go high. Go high. Go high again. Look at how big your fucking biceps. No, nah, man. I'm I'm getting. I'm, I don't give a shit about how what you think right now with your body negative image. I'm I saying what I see is another man. Dysmorphia. And here's one thing we like to do on this show, including getting off track. The other thing we like to do is tell you and promote content that you won't see for a month, two months at yeah. a time. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've been telling you all the time about this party mode that's coming where we piss off Andy and he's really angry about he's it. Such a fucking It'll bitch. come up later. However, we filmed another party mode yesterday. <laughs> and I would like to officially announce that I call Nick Daddy now. Yeah. And that you should too. Uh -huh. And then, after you left, it evolved even more to where we call Kevin Mommy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mommy has milk. Mommy has milk. <laughs> Yes, mommy. Mommy, let me taste the milk. Mommy, mommy has won the two nipple hairs. Just do the housekeeping. So I can leave. Oh no, he can't leave until we do the housekeeping, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get to that in a couple seconds. Of course, today's episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by illustrious sponsor Hims, a new wellness brand for men. We'll get to that when we give the giveaway away uh, later on in the show. Uh, okay, that's it for the the rigmarole. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for house. Sorry. <laughs> God damn it. It's a fucking touch. God screen. damn oh, you. God damn you, Kevin. <laughs> We've done it three times. One time you got it right. You're one for three. Oh, I like that it's shortened now. I saw yeah, yeah, yesterday yeah. in the subreddit there was yeah. they were mad at you at saying you were gonna shorten it. Then the, who's the guy who does it? AJ. AJ is like, I've already shortened it. I'm sending it to Kevin. There it is. No, I want shortened. so the thing is the one thing is I, we gotta touch base with AJ. I want I want the part where he's like Please, for the love of God, you go away! <laughs> like, that's what I want. Okay. So I think I want that middle part. I want to just, I just want to see what it feels like. We're just trying shit out. Just try it out, man. We're at the wall. We're fixing the plane when it's in the air. You know what I mean? That's what we do. Oh, here. yeah, we like to build a plane in the air. There was a long time ago, uh, I remember hearing, you know, CEOs. We've had like 15 CEOs. We have we had a lot of CEOs. There was one CEO, I, I can't. That updated version, okay, we'll check that out after this. Thank you, Joe. Um, one of the CEOs at IGN always used to talk in adages. All, you know, CEOs always talk in like phrases like, hey, one of the guys was like, look, man, we don't want to fix the plane while it's in the air. And I'm like, I think that's all we ever do. It's always, like, we, we, we always took off, we took off in like a wing suit and now we're trying to, we built it into a biplane. Yeah, and now we're trying eventually to get it to, it'll be the Iron Man We're trying suit. to get it, to, no, we'll eventually, yeah, years and years from now. Right now I'd say it's like one of those jets from the 40s. You know, not even a jet, it's just a propeller plane from the 40s. People are smoking yeah. on it. Do you know how much I'm going to call Kevin mommy from now on? Yeah. Just forever. Well, your daddy, he's mommy. It's fair trade. 
No. Daddy, tell him no. it's okay. Daddy, tell him it's okay. What's the housekeeping? Daddy, likey. Uh, housekeeping. Housekeeping. Uh, KF Prom 2018, June 30th in San Francisco. And let me tell you, we just got off a production call yesterday with my brother. It is going to be the event not to miss right now. $60 early bird tickets. If you if you sleep on this for five more days, you have to spend 10 more dollars. So get the tickets now or else Greg will come over, bop you in the head like Andre the Giant from The Princess Bride. Remember that movie? Oh, well, yeah. Knocks him out. I, I kind of do. You have bear-like strength. Uh, I do. That is true for that is 100%. True. Thank you. Thank you. Other fun stuff, if you guys are supporting us at the fan mail tier on Patreon, we got a real fun thing going for you this month. Uh, you can actually ask us to do custom videos for your prom proposals. Here's the thing, you're coming to prom, right? Why not ask somebody with a video from a kind of funny member of your choosing? Somebody asked me, is Pertillo on the table? Pertillo's on the table. Patreon.com slash kind of funny. That's not fair. He's going to put that little fucking work. Everyone's going to want Portillo. Okay, then. Get over there and join the fan mail too. This is a it's, great way. It's about time these are earnest. It makes it look like you thought it through. You already you already convinced your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your, uh, yeah, what's the opposite of a boyfriend? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. You already convinced them to come to this thing with you. Yeah. Why not get a video where one of us screams at them about it? Go over to patreon.com slash kind of funny or patreon.com slash kind of funny games at the fan meal tier and uh, sign up for that if you guys want your own custom prom proposal. Of course, we have all sorts of other cool perks and tiers and shit and exclusive content over on those. So definitely check those out. Uh, quick update on the store, kind of funny.com right now uh, slash store. Our store says everything's sold out. We're working on it. Sit tight, you guys can still queue up uh, some of the garments. They're still available, but they're just moving distributors, so it's in flux right now. We're still, we'll keep you guys posted on that. And of course, we've talked about it already, but tomorrow is Infinity War Day. We're very jacked about that. Uh, I have been semi-erect oh. for the last 24 hours, which is part of the reason why I couldn't sleep last night, but it doesn't matter. Sure, Because sure. sometimes, it's cool, because then you don't, I don't sleep on my belly. I just kind of roll over and it's kickstands. Oh, um, and of course, feeling, I don't like it either. Every day at six o'clock in the morning, I have to pee. I don't like it. Every day. Do you wake up with an erection too? Is that yeah, okay. it's, it's okay. monstrous. Yeah. And then sometimes you have to, you have to, when you, like you can't stand, so you gotta kind of like yeah. lean over it a little bit. Well, what I do is, I, uh, what I'll do is I'll stand up and then like walk slowly over there. And if you move all your digits, including your toes, get the blood away from oh, your dick. Oh, that's smart. And I, don't, then it I don't have the presence down. of consciousness to think about that. Next I just time, next like, time. Sometimes trust me, I'm even sla- I'm, I'm, as somebody who's popping boners left and right at, in awkward times, like this yeah. is the way to get rid of them. Just do this. Huh? Kevin wants to meditate them away? Yeah. Can't do that. No, 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 no. Gotta, gotta do this. I just, until something. But you gotta pee. You're in a hurry to pee. That's why it's cool, man. It's like pain versus pleasure. You pain know, which is gonna happen. Pain pleasure. Uh, if you guys are like, hey, man, I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are on Infinity War, but I, I really want to hear your thoughts on every Marvel movie while well, we're doing MCU interviews still. Uh, of course, it'll go live Thursday night for Infinity War, but if you guys want to get ahead of that and watch Thor Ragnarok and then watch our review of Thor Ragnarok, well, that's already live. We are already giving the people what they want. I feel like that shot slanted. Is that shot slanted? Yes. What's well, happening with that? Camera, like, I talk to you the camera's just today. drifting. It's a good San Francisco thing. The camera slanted. The base won't fit on it right. Huh. I asked you to look at it, and you were just like, oh, that's weird. Walk away. It is weird. No, now it looks great. He's talking about in the full red one. Well, I didn't notice it. Oh, well. Uh, all right, that's it for housekeeping. Greg, let's go into some news. Let's do it! The news. Beautiful, beautiful. We nailed that one, except for the still. There's a little blip at the beginning of it. Huh? There's still a little weird blip at the beginning of it. Is there? Yeah, what sure is. Again? Go ahead. It's time for the news. See it? Oh, yeah, look at that. The news. The news. The news. When did this one get added? What is happening? We're with this just show? Add, we're just adding stuff. AJ made it, man. All right, AJ's, AJ's our job. guy. He's our guy. All right, I'm now, if you want a graphic for when I introduce you, when I say, hey, everyone, it's Greg Miller. Greg, 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 Greg. You I just want to tell you know, the big topic. That's what we need next. Big topic. Big topic. Okay. Wait, does that need a visual or can that just be a sound effect? No, visual. You need a, I mean, what do you need? It's what time for the, the big topic and we sit here like morons while somebody goes, big topic. We just kind of look off into the distance for a second. Like radio. And then come back. Sure, but it's not. I mean, we've already got all these other visual gags. Yeah. You just combine them. Then the thing is, the podcast listeners can feel the visuals. They don't have to see them. All right. They can feel them. It's true. It's true. Bye, Kevin. Or, as I affectionately refer to you, bye, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. God, we're terrible to him. But you know what? It makes me feel better. But your daddy. Uh, remember, guys, we're going to read tips in a little bit. If you want to queue up your tips, we'll read tips at the $5 or above level. Or if you figured out how cheers work, we will read your 500 or above cheer. 
And uh, at some point, we should check as to whether or not those cheers are actually coming through and uh, translate into dollars. Oh. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll actually <laughs> figure they're out. coming through. Oh, no, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. If they're being equated. It's one of those things where I haven't logged yeah. in the back end long enough. I'm like, does this actually working? I don't know. It must be. It doesn't matter. Uh, top news stories today, of course. Infinity War is coming out tomorrow. <sighs> it is set to open very, 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 very big. Uh, it might actually be one of the biggest opening, if not the biggest opening weekends ever. Uh, this comes from Variety.com. The Marvel superhero adventure is I Get a View of 225 million to 245 million with a possibly even crossing over 250 mark. If numbers reach uh, the end of that range, Infinity War could have one of the biggest debuts of all time. Uh, the hefty launch should go a long way to justifying its wildly expensive price tag of somewhere between 300 to 400 million dollars. That's a lot of wampum. Like, you know, we always go, we always talk about uh, in the MCU, he always Tim always tells us like, what's, MCU fucking review. what's yeah, the guy yeah. that hosts the show? Tim Gettys. Tim always tells us the budget of this. This yeah. is crazy. This is nutso. But I think they're gonna make that back. As of now, the biggest opening weekend of all time belongs to Star Wars: The Force Awakens, which bowed with 248 million, 215. And went on to make uh, close to a billion at the 936.6 million domestically. Only five films in history have hit that 200 million mark. Let's see what they are. Cool, Greg. Scroll down on this. Scroll down. Enhance. Enhance. There they are. Right there. Up, up, up. there it is. Stop. Right there. Cool, so, Greg. You're doing great. Don't worry about it. Star Wars: The Force Awakens, 247 million. Last Jedi, ugh, 220. Jurassic World, 208. I thought Black Panther did better than, than all of these, but I guess I was wrong. Avengers 207 and Black Panther 202. Well, no, it was a big deal that Black Panther got to where it was. Well, right? yeah, they were they were thinking originally Black Panther was going to open somewhere around the one. I want, if I want to say 140 to 150 mark. Yeah. And then right getting up to the weekend, they're like, oh, it might be bigger. Maybe it'll be 165, and then it crested over 200 million, which is ridiculous. But like, look at here's here's the nutso thing. So, These are the biggest box office opening weekends. One, two. Three, four of those belong to Disney. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that They're smart. They know crazy? They know. Yeah. I don't know. Now, here's the thing. Do What's you, the thing? Where do you think? I think if it, I think if Infinity War could beat Force Awakens. It's going to beat it. Yeah. I think it will. Yeah. Because they're I saying there's plus. No 225 plus. plus. So I would already put it ahead of Last Jedi. But these things are often wrong. Yeah. They're always wrong. They're always like, here's what we think. It's, it's just a, it's a ballpark figure. I don't know how on, it can be based that on wrong. Pre-sale. Well, it's based on pre-sales and based on like buzz. So I don't know. I don't actually know no, what. It's not buzz for this one. Oh no! This I think I think they're right, but I think they're I think it's going to cross two two fifty. I think it'll beat it. Ooh-wee. That's my professional opinion based on absolutely. Are nothing. Are you predicting you'll be happy tomorrow? Like, are you going to be let down by this movie? No, I've never been. I don't think I've ever been let down by a Marvel movie. Bullshit. We I mean, in the reviews, I mean, not that in the MCU's we're talking about, but I think when we talk about like leaving Incredible Hulk and stuff, like we weren't in love with it, right? I wasn't in love with it, but I wasn't Four. like this was a total waste of my time. Okay. Like, okay. here's here's the thing. Here's why I say this. You go in to see Thor, I wasn't expecting anything. And sure. I was like, oh, okay. It was a good, it had some good parts with, with Chris Hemsworth, shirtless, and Natalie Portman. They were cute. I like their chemistry. Cool action sequences. I actually kind of like Thor. So I've, I've never been, I've never walked out of a Marvel movie and been like as disappointed as I was when I walked out of certain Star Wars installments where I was like, wow, that made zero sense. I'm not going to say which ones. No, no. Because I don't want to flame that you're fire. Not, you're not, yeah, you're not, you're but not. I'm saying I walked out of that thinking that was legitimately a huge disappointment to me. Sure. Never walked out of a Marvel made film in the gotcha. last 10 years going, but here's huh, the thing. I, I really wish I could get that time back. Here's the thing, though. And I mean, not even get the time back, but being disappointed. I feel like we're all so much more invested in Infinity War. Yeah. Thanks to MCU and Review, which yeah. has been a great trip down memory lane, re- reinvigorated all this. I feel like I'm on the top of my Marvel Cinematic Universe game right now. I feel like I have a better connection to all these characters. I just, what the fuck was it? Come up a little bit. I think, you know, in the past, I've gone into these movies, maybe, yeah, like, whatever, it's going to be fun. I don't mm-hmm. care too much about this universe. I'll just have fun with it. Now I really care. Will that fuck everything up? I don't think so. Will the, my ability to love these characters fuck everything up? I think that it's not going to be, I don't think it can be possibly as good as I want it to be. Mm. Uh, but I do think that having watched all of the movies back to back will give it deeper meaning. You know, I think okay. that going into it, I think you're going to get a lot more out of it now that you're a lot, like, we've done this whole series. Sure. Because I think I actually, like, I actually name all the Infinity Stones now and kind of where they were, as, as opposed to, like, six weeks ago. I was like, where's the fucking yellow? What's the yellow one called? What's the brown I don't one think you called? Is there a brown one, one called? You want to you fuck with me? Yeah. All right. Blue? Let's move on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to name no, the no, colors? Blue, blue's power, purple is, no, purple's power. Fuck, no, blue is power. Shit, no, I can't. I know the yellow is as, uh, vision. Or- <laughs> no, mind. Yellow is the mind stone. Yeah. Orange is the soul stone. Uh, green is time. Red is matter. 
That's the ether stone. Sure, that right? one's the um, dumb one. Blue, I think, is power, and I can't remember what purple is. Oh, purple is uh, jelly bean. What the fuck is purple, chat? Let me know. Chat, let me know what purple is, because I don't yeah. know. I don't. I just know they're all very important, and they all do things. I'll deal with it when I get there. Green's time, because Doctor Strange. Yeah, uses. green's time. Orange is, orange is, is the soul. Vision, vision is, is mind stone. Yeah. Uh, and then there's matter is red. I forget. I just I don't know the difference between purple and blue is space. Blue is space is what. Yeah, that's came, right, because they could open came up. Came over, the, Greggy says purple is. Space. And then purple is power. Right? That's oh, blue the power is space, difference. purple is power. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So there you Saltum go. is prime, says them. Well, there you, I'm glad we got that out because I think that would have been the only confusing factor to tomorrow's endeavor. Oh, sure, that's endeavor. the only thing that'll be Everything about. else? I can't wait. Straight as pie. I'm ready to be there. I'm ready to be in the theater. So now, the, here's the question. Here's a big question. Yeah, of course we get popcorn. What else, though? Are we getting snackums? Sure, we're getting snackums. This, this is a big cheat movie. Day. This might be my cheat day. This is a big movie. I we got a, it. A, a popcorn the size of your lap Yeah. that I could accidentally reach all the way through. Sure, put a hole in there for you, Daddy. I want some... Daddy like it. Uh, I also want to get some of those Twix, uh, little Yeah, you little love little Twix mini anymore. Twixes, that's right. And I want some, maybe a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Yeah. And I might have a diet Here's cup. the bigger question. What? Is where are we going to go for dinner? Because I'll be, it's over our dead body we go back to that sushi spot Kevin likes. That he swears is the Thank best you. sushi in San Francisco. It's the best. You can shovel, literally see the them head. taking it out of like a Lunchables packet and fucking dumping <laughs> it onto Good a plate. Good old Lunchables sushi. That sushi is deplorable. It's not, it's bad. It's, it's it's middle of the road. Exactly. We'll mediocre. say middle mediocre. of the road. Mediocre. But the service is terrible. And also it's true. not because of the women that work there. It's so they're understaffed. When I see a waitress literally sweating, they're doing something wrong. Like, they, one of them came, like, what do you do? Sweat on the brow. I'm like, you need to pump the brakes. Yeah. Call your manager over sure. and get 15 more people working here. Because it shouldn't take this fucking long to get a miso <laughs> soup. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. I hear you. I'm right there with you. Be great to go to the Alamo Draft House where we can just order food right to the thing and have Kevin a great time. Kevin is a hater. He's a hate oh, ass there's a hater. Light. There's a light. Oh, the light. Bring gaff tape. Cover the light. Not that hard. It's weird. Now, granted, this is coming from a person who has weird idiosyncrasies as well. Yeah. Myself and No, you? Ah. You? Come on. Really? Oh, okay. uh, I have a question for you now, Greg. Lay Moving on. on to the next news story. A long time ago, about a week ago, we were talking shit about Fred Durst. And I was like, what the fuck is Fred Durst up to? You I was not on the show. show. I talked shit about Fred Durst. I was like, what the fuck is that motherfucker up he to He Twitch right now? streams, you know. Does he? Yeah. God bless him for it. Okay. Well, he's also making a movie. Oh, is he now? Cool, Greg, bring this up. It's a movie starring John Travolta, uh, and it's, it's a, almost, it's a quasi-biographical movie about a real stalker that Fred Durst had when he was popular, um, and that stalker is played by John Travolta, and a couple things to note here, of course, John Travolta with the worst wig I've ever seen in my entire oh, life. Oh, here we go, wig patrol. Uh, wig if Andy right was now. here, I'd call him in for the song, this but he's not, so I'm just going to do it. Time to wig, put on the wig, Nick doesn't like bad wigs. That's not how it goes. It goes, is it real or is it fake? Wigging out. That's not, that's not even. Ah, is this that the up. one that he has Scarpino in? Yeah, it's Scarpino. Like, is it real or is it fake? No, is it fake or is it real? We're going out with Scarpino? I can't remember. I don't know. No. Can we call Andy? Yeah, I'll call him. Call him. Pause the show, everybody. Uh, everyone pause. I haven't added him to my favorites yet. I have, I think, uh, most of the other employees on I don't here. have anyone of my favorites. I just tell, tell Siri to call him. Mm. Oh, well, that's the... Family that's member. Call Andy Cortez. Are you calling him too? Yeah, He's not going to answer. He never answers his stupid phone. He was on. Uh, he was on Slack a little while ago. He never answers his phone. I'll, get, I'll bet you dollars the donuts. He doesn't answer. That I'll bet you a dollar. Phone. One dollar. One dollar. My wallet's on my desk. Okay. God damn it! I lost ah, the dollar. You just won me a dollar from Nick Scarpino. Hey, can you sing the wig the wig theme song? Because he wants to talk shit about a wig. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, is it a wig? I don't know. We're getting out with Scarpino. Thank you, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye. Bye. Good kid. Good kid. Lost me a fucking dollar, though. He owes yep. me a buck now. Uh, this story comes from Bloody Disgusting. E.T. Canada shared this beautiful behind-the-scenes video from Moose, an indie thriller directed by Limp Biscuits Fred Durst. Limp Biscuits in the Biscuit. house, y'all! Principal photography took place in Alabama on the set starring John Travolta as a rabid movie fan obsessed with his favorite celebrity action hero, Hunter Dunbar, played by one Devin Sawa. What? 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 I feel like this means we can meet Fred Durst Friend and, of the show? Devin Sawa is in this flick? John Travolta. Uh, who is best known, of course, among horror fans from Final Destination, while others obsess over his appearance in Casper. Idle uh, hands, bitch. Clearly, Put it you're in there. fucking forgetting. Now, if I knew this person, we call, we call, call this motherfucker. We call him. Brad Miska over at Bloody Disgusting, call him like, bro. 
You are sleeping on idle hands. I'm gonna, uh, while you keep reading it or yeah. whatever, I'm gonna open up the thing. I see his Twitter in there. I'll tweet at him. Cool. Do that. Uh, as Moose's obsession grows stronger, his fixation turns from stalking to ambition of destroying the star's life. The story was inspired by a real life fan who stalked Durst many years ago. The screenplay was written by Durst and David Beekerman. I'm just saying it right now. Midnight showing of this. I'm in. <laughs> I'm into this. It's good for Fred Durst, though, man. I'm glad to see his, he's out there moving and shaking still. Moving and shaking. There it is. Uh, Hold on, we're almost there. No, no, you're good. Uh, I'm tweeting at Brad Miska. Mm -hmm. Please credit at Devin E. Sawa in the article as being from Idle Hands, then a link to the thing. Yeah, thank Done, you. Done, sent. Thank you, I appreciate That's that. in my tweets and replies if anybody wants to go see it. There. Appreciate that. If you guys you want to retweet, retweet that, it. that'd be great. You can retweet it. We can try to make moves here. Also we've say we've shown statement. our power before by changing IGN articles. Can we change a bloody, disgusting article? Yes. Yeah. I follow them on Twitter, by the way. All right, right on. Uh, cool, Greg. Andy's not here, but you know, each and every day we give Andy 30 seconds to talk about sports. Uh, since he's not here, I thought maybe I would take over. Oh, for him. wow. Uh, do we have the 30 seconds of sports graphic, Cool Greg? If so, run it. If not, I'll just get to the joke. There you go, you're back. He doesn't answer my call. The Project 5? Oh my god, what the hell is Project 5? Call him back. <laughs> no, we can't back. keep calling no, him. Call Maybe back. he's in the bathroom or the shower I now. I don't give 10 shits. What, I can't, I mean... All right, Daddy. I'll call him it. back. I'm doing it. Call him back. I need him to answer his phone for the joke. Otherwise, not funny. Do we need to rerun the graphic? Yeah, we'll need to rerun the graphic. No, do not rerun the Can graphic. please rerun the graphic? It's gonna be disturbing if he gets really good shit. I don't care. Okay. I'm just saying. Well, like, clearly he respects you more than me. I don't think it's the respect thing. He just knows that, like, he's scared of you. You're, you're well, the, I can fire him. I can fire I him too if I wanted to. My fucking calls. No, man. All right. 30 seconds of sports, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday I was at a bar uh, waiting to go on my comedy set, and I noticed that the San Antonio Spurs were playing one Golden State Warriors, and guess what? They lost. Just like Andy's stupid face in the Let's Play where Jesus. me and Greg shot him in the head because he is a loser. So everyone tweet sweet nasty love at Maximum Cortez right now. It said, sorry your team lost. Uh, Scarpino says they're losers. 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 L7 fucking Cool, Greg, are these the playoffs? Get it right. There it is. Are these the playoffs? Yeah. How deep in the NBA playoffs are we right? another round though. We're good. So, uh, I think we got it. We got good chances. Okay. Not the best of hosts, but way better than the Spurs' chances. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Spurs. They're the now worst. Wait, how many more games do we play with the Spurs? Yeah. That's it. We feel they, they're done. We bounced them out of the thing. Yeah, right. Oh, we actually like... They got one and we got four. With you crushed them. Oh, we, done. we crushed them. Yeah. So I the Spurs so. are literally inferior in every single way. Better luck next year. Sorry, Andy. Sorry, David Robinson. Fuck, man. That sucks for you guys, but it's dope for us. Yeah. And I've been a Golden State Warriors fan since the beginning. You I'm not one of these fair weather fans You're that just not. came on board. You're not you at know? all. You've been I've around I've been talking the block. about them for a, real, line, a yeah. real long time. I'm a fan of them, and I'm a huge fan of Kanye West. I'm really excited about this next story. That's it. That's a, this comes from this, this next West. This is a good segue, right? This next, uh, West. This next new... <laughs> You were perfect. You were so God, golden. So you just got too cocky on I the see, title. You know what happens is I, I stare into your beard and get lost in it. Yeah. Yeah. You're 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 a beautiful distraction. You see, somebody tweeted today uh, the original MCU and review screenshot from Iron Man, and I I was just starting to grow the beard. It's very disturbing. Yeah, that was a weird point. You got you can't shave it now because you got to get you, if you want to grow it back after you shave, you got to get past that shitty point where it just looks like. It's bad. It didn't look bad. It didn't look bad. No, all of us do. It's, I'm not saying it's just you. It's just there's always a moment. Like, I go back in my phone and look at the moments where I was growing mine out. Yeah. And I was like, shave that fucking, what are you fucking doing? But then it gets to the dope point. Sure. And you're like, oh, we pushed through. Big topic coming up soon. You have to set your clocks to it. But first now, you're going to go west with this story. We're going to go west, far west. Uh, Kanye West has been on a Twitter spree. Sure. And his, his latest tweet is, I'm nice at ping pong. Ping -pong. I don't know what that means. 
It means he's good at ping pong, I think. Great. But if you scroll down, cool, Greg, get off this and just go to his, his profile here. Let's see some of his latest tweets. Uh, I'm good at ping pong. Let's see. Uh, Kids see ghost short film will be shot by Dexter Navy. Mm-hmm. My wife just called, oh God, that's the one I want to say. My wife just called me, she wanted me to make this clear to everyone. I don't agree with everything Trump says. I don't agree with 100% with anyone but myself. Okay. Uh, Decentralize is another one. Uh, he was, there was one where he said, I fired all of my management team because uh, no one can manage me. I'm unmanageable. Sure, yeah, that's so fair. So you have to respect this. You have to respect this. I don't know what it is, but in typical Kanye fashion. I'm turning the Grammys into the Yammies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool, Greg, what's that mean? I love this one. I leave my emojis Bart Simpson color. Yellow. That's, that's smart. No. Yeah. yeah it's better to leave it yellow because then it's just super offensive to anyone who is not uh, the other colors. All right. Uh, I don't really know where we're supposed to glean from this, Tim Geddes. But speaking of Tim Geddes. God, you're the worst. Bring it up. <laughs> I know. I don't care. Here's the big topic for today, ladies Big, 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 big topic of the day. Now, you know. Throw it up, cool girl. Let me see. Pull this up. Some people... Have greatness thrust upon Do I need to go get him? He'll come. He'll feel we're talking about him. Really? Well. And he'll come. Now, Tim went to my beard guy. His beard was getting unreal. I said, go to my beard guy. You understand me? Yeah. He went, he had the beard done, what I think you should always do, which is sculpt it a little on the sides and let it grow a little bit longer so you start getting that cool Kratos point, that hipster beard point. Sure. Now, Tim has the kind of beard hair that gets kind of like thick so it can actually grow out farther. I'm envious of that because that's okay. what I want my beard to look like, but I can't get it there. It's just not physically possible okay. for me. Now, everyone in the comments yesterday on the YouTube video, like I shit you not, at least 20 comments were like, Tim's beard is epic. He needs to keep growing it out. And of course, walk in today, hey man, you got a lot of nice compliments on your beard. Because he's YouTube threatening comments. to sh- cut it. And he's like, I hate it. I don't want to do with it. I'm going to shave it off. I'm gonna sh-. And he's going to go back and shave it back to that weird like hip hop style that he did before, which admittedly matches the Jordans. What is your take on this? What I don't, well, I like the big thick beard. And this is, again, I was getting a lot of love on the subreddit. Mm-hmm. Right? R yeah. slash kind of funny. And on the YouTube channel. Um... What I like but find disturbing about this is that he looks like classic Green Arrow. The yes. more it grows out like yes. this, the more he looks like Especially Oliver a little Queen, wave in his classic hair. Green Arrow. No, yeah. not, not Arrow Arrow right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, Oh, there it is. Yeah, Tim's, Tim's beard is looking like, like Green, Green Arrow's, Arrow's goatee. goatee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's getting there. So I don't know. I don't need him to do anything. I, don't, I want him to do what he wants. I don't like that. You know, Kevin used to always call Tim his show pony. Yeah. Because he was so pretty. He is pretty. I felt like that was an objectification of Tim that yeah. I wasn't down for. It's over objectifying what I, him. What I don't like is seeing that gray streak in his beard. You know what I mean? I love that. It's distinguishing. It's, but then he's starting to be old. He was always our touchstone to what the kids actually wanted yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, he doesn't know what's going on To what's on going anymore. on on YouTube. Now, and I hate to say this too. I hate to say this too. We're losing Cool Greg. His relevancy oh, yeah. is going away as well. He's I just said, too. I'm going to turn the Grammys into the Yammies. What does that mean? Cool Greg doesn't know. No. If uh, Cool fair, Greg can't understand Kanye West. To be fair, I don't know if Kanye West knew what he meant by that. And it came out of Kanye West. So, jury's still out on that. Chat, here's what I want to ask you. Should Tim trim the beard? And if not, we need to start the campaign right now. Hashtag. Save the beard. No Tim, no trim Tim. No trim Tim is way better. No trim Tim. Right, okay. You see what I'm saying? Now... I don't know, how do you want to do this? You're the master of this. Do we just tell everyone in the chat right now to tweet at Tim? Yeah, that's Tim, right. save the beard, hashtag save the beard. Hashtag, hashtag save the beard. Because trim, I think, is slang for pussy, too, right? Yeah, yeah so but I don't think that's what we want to do. does look like a big, wet pussy. <laughs> like a 70s <laughs> pussy face. No? Uh, no, no, uh, it no. doesn't, it doesn't. I'll tell you, man, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing right now. Bush has made a comeback, and I'm, I'm, I'm respectful of that. I Has it made that. a comeback? Yeah, it's made a huge comeback. You're seeing a lot of porn with it? Yeah, a lot That's of where porn you're seeing with, it? A lot of porn with Bush now. I'm not. God bless him. Yeah. God I mean, bless do, him you, do you, but I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of anything any, and everything. I like every style of that, you know? Never never met one I didn't think was, that was special. Sure. In a certain way. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, tweet at Tim Geddes. Let him know whether or not he should trim the beard. And if you want him to trim it, trim that... <laughs> <laughs> Where are we anymore? I don't, I don't even know, know what's happening. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. I thought at, point, at some point Tim would actually come in here, but I, I told you there's no way Tim. he's doing what. Tim! 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 He's on an important call. Oh, he's on an important what call. What could possibly be more important 
than this show that has no meaning to a lot of people. What can be more important than that? No, oh, that's mm, fair. Whatever. That's fair. <laughs> it's fine. You can earn that. Burnimus Prime 86 in the chat says, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. It's Eric Shirk says, LOL, Nix doesn't discriminate. His porn type is yes. That's true. Point. I appreciate consent. Uh, what I do want to go is, I know we'll do tips in a second, yeah. but we have a tip here from Sean Solo TX who says, Nick, my girlfriend of five years has been missing since seeing Tim's beard on the show yesterday. Yeah. If a lovely Honduran woman by the name of El Elena shows up at the office, please ask her to leave. Will do. Uh, and if I, by chance, find her in Tim's beard, I won't let you know. I'll just keep that our little Fair. secret. I'll keep it our little secret. All right, tip time. Tim's not coming. And that joke is work to do. beaten into the ground. Uh, our first to tip to today He's comes. Work, you know? I know. He doesn't fuck. You know, Tim's always, like, stressed out. Like, I'll go work the quiz, the quiz, the quiz. That's not what the stress is about, I don't think. Batman Dan gave us a tip. Good old Batman Dan Six says, "Hey guys, just wanted to say hashtag Nick was right about the Batman eighty nine figure and getting the squeegees. Got to try a different Starbucks combo. Love you all. See you at prom. And damn, Infinity War is tomorrow. What's the Batman eighty nine theory on now, getting the squeegees? My theory was this: when every one out of every three times I go to Chipotle, I get the squeegees. Yeah. And now also, this just happens when you eat any food. Yeah, it's fair. Because you don't Cortez eat protein. Is, oh, oh, yeah, answer it. Let's fuck with him. That sounds fun." Hey Andy. Hey Greg, I'm I'm on the road. So. Cool. Hey, we had a Andy. We had a quick question for Hey Andy. You're on the it, morning show. Nick Scarpino, you're on the morning show. I had a quick question cool. for you. Um, I don't know a lot about sports, but I did want to just check in with you on last night's games. How did the Spurs win? Did they end up winning? Um. No, I I think you. No, they did not. They did not win, Nick. Oh. But there's always another game, right? There's always another chance for them to win. Is that right? No, see, uh, okay, guys. So, no, they they did lose. Uh, they they lost the series um, four to one. Um, without but, the, without the best player, of course. But they get to um, play next week, right? They get to play next week. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's best uh, out of twenty one. Okay. Uh, Listen, Andy, we, we're just we're a mess. We we understand they lost the series, but again, at least you can hang your hat on that you guys made it to the championship, you mm -hmm. made it to the NBA finals, and you just lost at the end. You're second place. That's fine. Mm -hmm. No, God. they. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. They're fucking losers, Andy. <laughs> just like you. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, that was loud. That was loud. I want to make sure you can hear it in his car. I appreciate that. Uh, AlBob875 says, Thanks for the daily entertainment while I'm stuck at work. Here's a clip for the Great Wall of Kevin. Uh, cool, Greg. Go under the tips. Grab that. If you think it's funny, we'll watch it. If Ooh. not, no, sir. Wrath Anime says, I need your Infinity War, War spoiler cast desperately. Saw it last night and need to process. Rewatching tonight. Back to God of War. Can't Fuck you for seeing it so many times to already. Watch that spoiler. Well, they're in other countries. That's, that's their bane. You know? They don't get to... They, they don't, don't get, get freedom. Live. Yeah, they don't get freedom. Yeah. And they don't get expensive health care. Uh, can't wait to watch oh, the spoiler cast with Corey as well. Uh, see, battle. you wouldn't see Infinity War so much, you'd have beaten God of War by now. Everything would be great. Well, got the best of both worlds, man. It's a great time to be alive. Battle Mixed Struggle says, this goes out to the glue. I can't, I don't like that one. We're not, we're not calling him the glue anymore. He, no, what? He's he the milkman or he's the great wall of Kevin or, or he's mommy. mommy. Mommy, likey. Uh, I can't even imagine how tough it must be uh, to keep the garbage truck running every day. Thanks to all of your your hard work. Kevin does work very, very, very hard. It's true. And That's for the most true. part, that hard work pays off. Every once in a while, though, he falls asleep in his chair. I'm going to say it. He plays a lot of games, usually. He does. And sometimes, my he's favorite... hard today. My favorite is when he, he runs himself, like, uh, he just runs himself around <laughs> until he's <laughs> done. And then he gets so tired that he has to come in and sleep on our couch. He just goes, eh, And he covers himself with a little blanket. Mm -hmm. Doesn't worry if I'm making fun of him or not. All right, care. so I have an update here yeah. from us trying to get Brad Miska, 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 yeah. I'll say, to change uh, uh, the article on Bloody Disgusting to yeah. include Idle Hands. Yeah. He responded to my tweet of please credit at Devin Sow in the article as being from Idle Hands with Idle Hands holds up to this day, exclamation point, love it all caps. Yeah. Now I'm refreshing the article did he, did he to see if that in? motivated him to go include Idle Hands. I feel like we. It has not. I don't want to be. An asshole here. Now I'm going to do okay. this thing where I screen grab what I'm talking about. Yeah. I just think that maybe you should tag Devin Sawa in this as He's well. He's already been tagged. Uh, I think maybe we should get him to uh, let us know 
He's. I mean, he I, I've happens. done everything I can. You because I, mean? I have it on good authority. He hates the movie Casper. No. And wishes no. that that's he not, had you've never... You've talked to the man. You no, don't know he, if that's he, true. He, hey, that's not true at all. He, he doesn't don't, care. Don't spread lies. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't care about it whatsoever. While you're doing that, Sean Solo, Texas, is giving us our final tip. It says, Nick, my girlfriend of five years... Oh, you already read that one. Okay, well, we're done. Now I'm saying, agreed, please fix in including the image. Yeah. Now, I don't know how much Brad knows now, about Oh, you sent that already. I was going to say... It would be dope if you said, please fix, period, or else. Dot, no, dot, no, dot. no, no, no. We dot, don't know dot, them that dot. well enough. They, we dot, don't know that dot, well dot, enough. We don't or know else. Well and then, at Devin Sava, am I right? Uh, he, Muay Thai. Because, yeah, I was going to say, he knows MMA stuff too, right? He'll yeah. fuck people up. He's jacked. I love following him, by the way. Devin Sava? Yeah. Especially during fight nights. Yeah. Because he tweets some outrageous shit. They'll just say it. They'll just fucking They'll just say it. He's out... He's out on the edge. He's of glory. so raven, as somebody would say. He is so fucking raven. That's it for tips. Let's go into the next section, which is P.S. I love this best friend, XOXO. This is your opportunity to give someone in our community a little bit of love. If you go to kindoffunny.com slash best friend, fill that form out. Uh, we will read it here on the show. Nightwing593 is shouting out one Andy Cortez. Friend of the San Antonio Spurs, the losers. Well, they are losers. For being a great inspiration and always making quality content, whether it's party mode, being on the morning show, or his own streams. Which he does not invite me to be on anymore. And I gotta be honest with you, offended. Is he playing uh, Rainbow Six, he though? He could be. If he wants the master to join. They call me the grandmaster of Rainbow Six now. I've played all five times. I'm pretty fucking good at that oh, game. Anybody calls you the grandmaster? Well, they call me the master of the okay. grandmaster. Okay. Okay. They call me the Jeff Goldblum of Rainbow Six. Okay. Yeah. God, Jeff Goldblum. Can't wait to see him again. All right. Are you going to see him as Infinity War, you think? Yeah, probably. We haven't done Infinity War predictions. I did one with 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 Tim and with Jack. My apologies. So my if you'd like to do one now, we can. No, it's fine. No? It's fine. I don't give me a bold-faced prediction right now. Top of your head. No, I mean, like, I expect... Based on nothing. I expect Captain America or Iron Man to die. Probably Captain America. You think Cap? Yeah. You think... I, we'll see Benicio Del Toro's character again, I assume. The Collector? The collector? Omega. Yeah, I'm sure he'll probably pop up a little bit, don't you Why think? Why would he? Because he got to get that other stone. Does he he's still got, have it? He's got the ether. Still, I think. Mm, there's yeah. an explosion, right? Yeah, but I think he still has... The stuff. Because they they dropped off the ether to him, I think, at the end of Thor Dark World. And he's like, I will keep it. Ooh. Right. But then, the ma, next one, then it was Guardians after that, right? Where yeah. Where the explosion happened. But I mean, you figure you can't explode the ether. It's the ether. It's sure, just, I guess that's you know, true. It's matter. I guess that's matter true. Matter-inducing. Okay. I don't know. My prediction I don't is, want to think too much about it, but yeah. I want to see it real bad. I don't really... I don't care enough to make a bold-faced prediction like that. Sure. I, I hope... Jeff Goldblum has a cameo in it. It would be amazing if he did. And it'll yeah. probably be the... My prediction is, if Jeff Goldblum has a cameo, steals the show. Of course. It'll be the best moment of, course. of the entire movie. Hopefully it's three hours long and we can enjoy the entire thing. Don't we know how long it is? I don't know. I haven't my ticket's still... Like, I haven't even looked. Okay, I won't say anything. Don't even look. Don't look, anybody! It's giveaway time. All right, now an update again. Yeah. Brad Miska says, for, y- for you, comma, sure. Oh my God, I love it. I love this. We are refresh. We will continue to refresh this page and keep you posted on what happens over here. You actually know this guy, or do you no? I don't know this guy at all. There it is. He just did it. Brad Everybody, Miska. Brad Miska is the fucking Brad G. Miska. You are. You, look at. I'll tell you one thing right now. It takes a champion to never be wrong. I know that. Okay. But if you can't be a champion, it takes a real man to admit when you have made a mistake. And going back and fixing that mistake is the most important thing. Brad has made a mistake, and he has fixed it, and he is a, he is a G as far as I'm concerned in my book. As Agreed. Cool Greg would say, Agreed. he's a G. Is that right, Cool Greg? Am I using that parlance correctly? Yeah, he's earned it. He's earned it. He's now, Brad, if you're watching this, you are now G status, according to one Cool Greg and kind of funny in general. Everybody go follow him and send him some sweet nasty love for doing the right thing. In America today, you gotta do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do Spike it. Lee. Uh, while Greg's Writing this wrong and congratulating this wrong. Uh, I will go into the giveaway. Of course, there are four ways to win the giveaway. One, you can be in the Twitch chat right now. Just like if you're in America, you're watching this in the morning. If you're in the UK, hey, everyone. Happy evening. What are you having for dinner? Some bangers and mash? Dope. Oh, my God, I got the bangers and the mash. Are you guys out at the local pub having a pint? Watching this on your telephone? Is that what they call them? The telephones. They call them telephones. The telephones? It's telephones, all right. Great. Uh, well, if you guys are in the chat right now, you don't have to do anything you are entered to win. Of course, if you want to go the extra step further and get the keys to my kingdom, the keys to my heart, uh, you guys can subscribe to us. You can give us your hard earned $5, or you have Amazon Prime. And guess what? You get one free Twitch Prime subscription. I gave mine to teammate and fellow best friend, Teddy Chineris. I don't know what he's a teammate of, but I just threw that in there because it sounds cool. Now, again, I haven't been on the show in a while. Yeah. 
Have you apologized to Teddy? Because uh, remember when you and profusely. I really fucking gave him the yeah. business over yeah. never thanking you for the subscription, uh-huh. and then he tweeted at both of us and was like, no, Nick just does not use Twitter. Yeah. I clearly mm-hmm. did here. Yeah. I clearly gave him all the he, credit. Uh, he, he tweeted a, a heartfelt thank you to me that day. Okay. Uh, also went on his stream and thanked me. Oh. Uh, so I apologized to him. Gotcha. And I'm waiting for his re-apology to me back. Uh, for a po- I don't... For, for, go, for insulting me to begin with. I don't know if he needs to re-apologize. I think that there is a level of offense that I have taken now that he needs to recognize and come at me with the right energy. You know what I'm saying? I, all right, I'm wrong. Cool Greg, wrong. look, it's the law of the street, man. You don't understand, you don't hang out with Cool Greg at night. Cool Greg, did we figure out what yammies means? I Googled it, and then it said in 2007 it used to mean titties. Titties? Well, yammy also So he used was to gonna mean, turn the Grammys into the titties. That doesn't sound like It sense. also used to mean gun, didn't it? Wasn't a yammy a gun? Man, I'm blasting no, with my gun. yammy? Tommy gun. Uh, I'll go, I'm going with the ASAP yammy. Look up thing, yammy man. gun and see if that's a part, like, that's an urban, Dictionary word for gun. Then look at Aerosmith. Janie's got a gun. I'd like to listen to that while I get ready for Games Daily. After this. Then Google Alicia Silverstein Stone Aerosmith. Crazy. Remember that? Crazy. 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 When I met you, oh, actually, I, I was. Oh, she, no, hold on. Time out. Time out. She time was time like time two. Time she, exactly. She's in Janie's got a gun where she's yeah. the star. Then her and Liv Tyler star in the other one. And it's like Thelma Louise ish, right? Right. Yeah. They, st- they like they go skinny dip in and steal a guy's tractor and shit. I'll tell you when they're right now. That video. There was a moment where days, Liv Tyler and days. Alicia Silverstone, Steen? Silverstone. Stone. Stone. Were just the it. Yeah. Were just the it. Yammy, a girl's vagina. No, I guess the... Uh, a lot okay. of yammy here, yeah. I guess it's just a... a, a bar. Yammy can replace any word similar to yawn no. with more uses. Urban Dictionary, get your fucking it can shit. Also you can't just have yammy be any word. Yammy, ayo, my people's got that yammy, that yammy over there. Now, see, this is how we know Cool Greg's lost his touch. He's, what, what do we, what is, he's Googling, what did Kanye mean when ill turn? I, I really think if we put it even just straight to his Twitter, the first couple comments will tell us what it means, right? Probably. Let's try it. If not, tweet no. at Kanye and I'm see if we can't get right him. Now. Kanye, Kanye what did you mean by yammy? We what have to know. What does, quote, yammy mean? To you. To you. Mean to you. Because it means a lot, something else to me. It means a girl's vagina to us. You I'm not gonna. I'm in. not gonna put that part. Because in. to us, you it can means respond to that. Putting, everybody, I need some interaction on this tweet. I'm putting out Kanye West. What does Yami mean to you? I like that we're really mobilizing the best friends out there. To Here's do the, the thing: to God's is work. we've understood for a long time the power of Twitter. Yeah. We got to change an IGN and story. We got to change a bloody disgusting story, and now we're gonna get big old Kanye West tell me what Yami means to him. But we gotta know. We're not leaving this show today until Kanye West gets back to us. I, you know, I mean, he just tweeted 12 minutes ago. He yeah. said, I'm 40 years old and I'm just now becoming my parents' child. I think he's on drugs. I'm gonna go out on a limb. He's either having some sort of psychotic plane, break man. or he's, on, he's on the drugs. Uh, ways two and three. Okay. I'm gonna be clear, all the comments are agreeing with what I said, ASAP Yams. ASAP Yams? Yeah, it's a rapper that died. So I just thought it made sense because Yam, Yamis. But, bam. It sounds like Cool Greg has not lost his touch, and you owe him and Teddy Chineris a big apology. Teddy Chineris I owe shit to. <laughs> cool <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Teddy Chineris. <laughs> cool Greg is out. Cool Teddy. We'll see what Kanye responds with. We're on yeah. a hot streak right now. We got Andrew Goldfarb and Jonathan Dornbush. We got uh, uh, Brad Miska changing stuff. Yeah. Now we'll see if we can continue. Can we go four for four? I appreciate it. And that. get big old Kanye West, arguably the biggest person we've talked about so far. Probably. I mean, The Rock's Girlfriend? probably a little bigger, but... No, I mean, in the, in oh, the, in the, in the four thing I just talked about. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's sweet The Rock, too. Just tell me you love him. Do you think The Rock's better, better bigger? Uh, yeah. Than Kanye? Yeah. Following-wise on Twitter, probably. Kanye's at 27 million. Let's see what The Rock's at. Either way, you should tweet at The Rock. Be like, hey, man, we're talking about you. We love you. Why not? Okay, right here. This dude is talking about... The Rock's 12. None. Oh, shit. Okay, Kanye's Jesus. way bigger. Yammies. So it's like, yay. Because you know, he's like, yay. Yeah. He's just taking away Jesus. the machine, putting it, turn, turn it his shit. Yeah, okay. Right. You lost me, but that's cool. I don't expect to understand everything. And expect, actually, in my superpowers, I expect to understand nothing. And when I do, I'm just super happy, overjoyed that I got something. Isn't that super fun? That's good enough for me. Ways three and four. Patreon.com slash kind of funny games or Patreon.com slash kind of funny. You can support us at the $2 above level and you get entered to win there. You don't even have to be here. You don't even have to watch this show. You might just get surprised with a free game one day. Of course, you get all the perks of uh, the $1 and above level. 
No, just the $1 level and the $2 level, which is you get to watch shows live just like today. I believe we are recording a GOG with yep. one Lou Funky Lou Medina. You know him from Sugar Pine 7 videos. Yeah. Funky Cool Medina. He also wears, through. he is the person who introduced Tim to, to his sweatpants jogger uh, addiction. And he's, we're going to be talking to him about that on the show today, I assume. Yeah. How do we, we it's an intervention episode. How do we wean Tim off of the, the one pair of sweatpants that he has that are so, so stretched out when he puts shit in the pockets, they basically just fall off do his they? ass. I yeah. haven't seen this. Yeah. You can also There's see the, flight pants now. I, first off, I take offense to that. I don't like when anyone dresses in jammies to take an airplane flight. Have some fucking respect for the people around you. You're not sleeping. Don't bring a goddamn actual pillow onto the plane. You don't need that. You don't need I'll your give fucking you the pillow nap. thing, but like dressing down for the plane, go for it. They they've taken all the class out you of still, you're flying. still you're still in public. Yeah. It's still rude to me that you walked out of your house and were like, I'm not going to change out of the clothes I was sleeping in and pay you the respect. You have to see my sleep sleep clothes. And you walk through the airport like no one else around you is fucking having a day. It's just ridiculous. It's completely absurd. But I mean, like, I got to take off my shoes and shit. So right there is where it starts. That's fine. If I'm not going to wear my... Well, you're going to take your pants off and put your the Mizzou shorts on and just wear those onto the plane? Maybe I will. I mean, if they've that, if that's where it all started, really, and getting out of control, is when you had to take off the shoes. Because, like, it's it, like look at me with my cons, right? If I didn't yeah. have TSA pre-check and I wasn't one of the chosen people, I'd have to take them off. Man. And they're hard to lace and relace and all the shit. It, it, it doesn't happen quickly, which is then a pain in the ass at TSA pre. So that's when you're like, you know what? I'll wear the sandals. I'll wear the slip-on shoes. At which point, why not wear the slip-on pants? Why not just wear a sweatsuit like I'm fucking... Why not just go naked? Like just I'm the go Spurs, like with before a little, they lost like everything. Like a towel wrapped around your juju and just well, call that's it too a far. Day. That's why. You know that's why. You know why, why you want to do that. Because you're going into public. The problem is this. You can't do that. You got to be presentable all the time. You're a big deal. Me? Oh, I'm aware. You're a celebrity. Anybody can walk Every, in at any point and ask me to cut a video. I got to yeah. be ready for it. Every time we go... Like, the Rock might be around the corner. Like, Greg, it's time. Move yeah, back to the big right? league. Right? You yeah. can't be fucking in jam Got to be ready to podcast. Also, every time you, every single time you go to SFO, you see 15 people that go, are you Greg Miller? You're way taller than I thought you'd be. And they look at me and they go, you're not as short as I thought you'd be. And it actually kind of makes me feel good. Good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, today's giveaway is brought to you by Hims, a wellness brand for men. We've been talking about these for a while, and I'm happy that we're repping. 66% of men lose their hair by age 35. I noticed mine started going when I was around 25, and it was a very stressful time, and I did something about it back then. So if you guys are noticing that you might be thinning a little bit right now, well, you should do something before it's too late because it's a lot easier to treat that when you're noticing at the, the first stages of it than it is after it's all gone. Uh, Hims wants to be there for you guys. They want to be that solution for you. Uh, it's a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men. Thanks to science, baldness can be optional, and Hims connects you with real doctors and medical-grade solutions to treat your hair loss. Very simple process. You can go right now, I'll get to the deal in a second, but you go right now, get their starter kit. Uh, you take pictures of your hair, you send it to a real doctor, he evaluates and gives you a treatment plan based off of, or he or she, I should say, based off of what they think would work best for you at your situation, uh, whether it be thinning here, thinning here, whatever, let the, let the experts do their job, uh, but you don't even have to go to a doctor's office. It's very, very quick, very painless, uh, you answer. It. It's all on the up and up. Uh, no snake oil, none of that stuff. This stuff is all proven uh, medicine that I have used personally for a very, very long time. So I, uh, I feel good in, uh, in recommending it for you. Right now, the listeners get a trial month of Hims for just $5 today. Uh, while supplies last, see website for details. This could cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or pharmacy. Uh, go to forhims.com slash morning show. That is F O R. H I M S dot com slash morning show for hymns dot com slash morning show to take advantage of that. Uh, and if you're thinking, hey, I need to do something about it, do something about it. Nothing wrong with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's winner wins a game called Pit People, which I assume has a lot to do with Brad Pitt and fans nailed of Brad it. Pitt. You nailed it. It's the unlicensed Brad Pitt game. It's on Steam. Congratulations to kind of funny patron Blair Stiletto. Stiletto. Dope last name. Hey. Pet for Corporated. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. You have won the giveaway. Uh, Greg? Yeah. Let's go into the three and three. How do you feel about that? Good. Let's get into the chat. Three from the normies, three from the subs, probably a little bit more. Uh, Edeling says, Greg, I saw Alaska scrubbing all Virgin logos and mentions from airports. Have you switched airlines? This was a huge problem for us with Virgin America going down. You know, kind of funny was pure on that Virgin train. We had... The credit cards, we had the status, Man. we had the everything. You guys were, you guys had hit that annoying point with it where you were such Virgin fanboys that I was like, I don't even want to fly Virgin. Yeah. You know how you're like, you gotta play this game, you gotta play this game. And I'm like, yeah. I'm never playing that game now. Exactly. Never gonna do Just it. Just like you'll never beat God of War. Never. 
Uh, so when that happened, it was a sad day for all of us, and then year, month after month, year after year, they've taken away abilities and things like that. I'm still leaning into Alaska, because I got to carry over status, so I'm MVP, MVP gold there. But we have a new credit card that gets us frequent flyer miles off a bunch of stuff, but it doesn't actually work for Alaska. Yeah. But it's not a big deal, because I still get the points when I buy Alaska flights. It's very confusing, in short. Uh, right now, my allegiance to what if I'm booking something are still to Alaska because of it, but Tim's status didn't carry over for some reason, mm. and we're the ones who care the most. Um, we've had bad experiences with United. However, I'm United Silver as well for how much I fly, so I yeah. thought about going all that way. I had great experiences with American Airlines, but the problem with American Airlines is there's no direct flight to Austin, which is a turnoff That's for me. That's terrible. For as, not as much as we go to Austin, but no, when we go to Austin. Twice a year, yeah, it's yeah. nice to have that option. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right now, the credit card gets us around it and gets us into the lounges and does all that stuff, which I like a lot. But at, right now, yes, I would still book Alaska flights. I'm hoping Alaska gets better now that they don't have to deal with the whole crossover version. You, from your mouth to God's ears. Edling, Edling. Edling says, Nick, does it piss you off when you see someone with a great hairline who buzzes it? It sure does me. Share the line, man. Uh, cool Greg has the most beautiful hair I've ever seen a human being have in my life. And he buzzes it, and it annoys. Mm, it. I hate it. Mm, mm. I want him to just let his like flowy locks flow, and he won't do it. He says it's the one thing he won't do for me. He'll tag my name anywhere in the city I want, but he will not grow his hair out for me, and it hurts me. Robert Ramirez says, "Greg, can you wear sandals on a plane? You could. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't own a pair of sandals." You can always wear Gucci flip-flops. You can always wear Gucci flip-flops, says Cool Greg. Cool Greg, what's your take on the Yeezy Crocs that they made? The I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the Yeezys at all. I've never seen a pair I like. They're weird looking. Yeah. They look like knockoff Adidas. But all expensive ass sneakers like that end up just looking real weird and cheap. It's like art. You know, it gets real expensive and it looks look weird and cheap. Yeah, yeah. And just like art. People will look back on this and be like, why did we spend so much money on that? Yep. That's probably what they'll do. Adam Entertainment says, what about Southwest Airlines? I'm not going to laugh you out of the room, but if I was a meaner person, I'd laugh you out of the room. Laugh him out of the room, Greg. Laugh him out of the room. And a couple other people are like, oh, yeah, Southwest, room. bags fly free, and all this other. Southwest sucks. It sucks. Southwest sucks. It is a cattle call. The, the, the way their lines work Here's some fucking peanuts. are annoying. Get out of here. And uh, one out of every five person people on the plane has never flown there. They have no idea what's going on. It's chaos. It is chaos, and it is what the apocalypse looks like. So if you want to see what our future 20 years from now will look like after the machines have taken over and killed us all, fly from SFO to Burbank on Southwest. Terrible. That's awful. Don't that's do what's going to Don't look support like. them, all right? Yeah, I understand it's cheap, but that's what you're, you're getting what you pay for. Aren't they the same flight that sucked that woman out the plane window recently, too? Southwest? Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. Horrible story. Horrible story. Very, it's a very sad story. Sure. Uh, let's see. Virgin was cool, but their planes were dirty, says Wolf Smalls. You had bad planes, and I apologize for that yeah, experience. That sucks. Great, uh, as the ambassador apologizes. Get Buckets says, you guys see they got the Bay Area serial killer. Had been on the run for decades. No. The California killer or something like that. There was a serial killer in the Bay Area? It's, it's been going for years. I don't think it was Bay Area. I don't, maybe it was. I don't know. I'd never heard of it being a Bay Area thing. I'd never heard of it, period. And then Pat Oswalt today was all invested in it. And I was like, what? And I, he's... He wrote the afterword for a book. I'm not sure. Did his wife write the book? Somebody, his, Maybe his wife, wife passed away. The book, yeah. I don't know. It, it, I caught it on the train into work today, and I have not done any other research for it. Golden uh, State Killer. That's the name. There it is. Okay. That's his name, the Golden State Killer? Yeah. Cool guy kind of likes that. Uh, Hungs over 9,000 says, Nick, have you seen the trailer for Upgrade? I have. It looks kind of interesting. I also uh, want to throw a shout out to Idiocracy because the pimp's name. In Idiocracy was Upgrade, oh, yeah. and when Maya Rudolph said it, it's hilarious. She's like, Upgrade will find me. He's like, we're in the future. Upgrade will find me. He will find me. Uh, Show Not Found says his deceased right, his wife did write the book. That makes more makes sense. sense. That's why I was also there. Thank you very much. But yeah, I had never heard about this guy. Top play a hater says, man, I mean, going on the airline, man, so much hate. Southwest routinely gets Best Customer Service and Industry Award. They are awesome. That uh, that's what so. Virgin and Alaska were getting to beforehand. It's, yeah. Everybody's just giving out awards. It's like saying you're the best game at E3. Somebody probably gave you a game at E3. Like, I gave I, I gave put a it into a game I never even played. Thank you. We're in sub only mode right now. If you guys Drewski are one of the 2K. chosen few, favorite food spot in SFO: Terminal Two Burger Joint. Oof, that's a good one. Yeah. Anything in Terminal Two. Terminal Two is fantastic. To be fair, the new United Terminal has some good spots too. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful terminal. It's just not as open as Terminal Two, so I don't like yeah. it as much. It's not as well laid out. Uh, Nick, did you hear that Mark Wahlberg is working on a fourth film with Peter Berg called Mile 22? Hey, did you guys go the other 21 miles? Hey, I'm doing hey, like this. We might as well go Mile 22. Hey, it's like almost a marathon, except four miles short. 
I did not hear that, but that's great. Mike Nike 093, and you pick your own seat, and he's, I assume he's meaning Southwest. Guess what? I pick my own seat way in advance when I book on any other airline. And then I just get on and go to that seat that I picked months and weeks ago. Yeah, you don't have to worry about standing in line and, and not having a and fucking seat. And doing that seat. fucking awkward thing where you're like, I'm 22, you're Shit, 21. I, 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 am, I am number 10. Yeah. But like I'm in the section 10 to 15, and, and there's people way people in front of me. And I know that's like, I, do I want to be the guy that goes, sorry, what number do you have? And so I do the thing where I hold it out so other people see it as I kind of go up waiting for yeah. somebody to stop me. I just do that. I pull a Kevin and just stand wherever I want because yep. they don't care. The gate person doesn't care. You're not yep. going in any particular order. Nobody gives a shit. It is fucking pandemonium. It is chaos. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, let's see. Omega Batman says, Nick, are you still a kind of funny world champion? And if so, do you plan on defending your title anytime soon, you old fogey? Question mark. Uh, first, let me be the first person to say, go fuck yourself. Second, I am the champ. Thank you for reminding everyone. And I will defend my title whenever the cowards that work here ask me to. My dog, Nick96. I put something on your belt too, you should check it out at some point. I saw it. It says okay. daddy. Yeah. Daddy likey. My dog Nick96 from Massachusetts says, Greg, will you do the plot for Infinity War in the MCU in review? No. This will act more like our Black Panther one, where we get right down to it. You, this is meant to be seen right after you watch it. So I don't think I need to sit there and do it. Also in the chat, Andy Cortez says, everyone watch Party Mode. Party Mode is dying and it needs your help. Good I was unaware Party Mode is dying. I think it's doing well. I was unaware. I, I was just... aware that it's really fun and everybody likes it a lot. I didn't realize it was dying like the San Antonio Spurs just did in the NBA playoffs. I'm going to go ahead and apologize to at Omega Batman for the uh, go F yourself comment. I got a little hey. hot there for a second. I apologize. Uh, but I just want you to know if you call me a fogey again. Party mode Zion? You are banned from life. Yeah? You're banned for life. What does that mean? Dying, Greg. How's it dying, man? What's wrong with party mode, Andy? Andy Cortez, everybody. Cool guy, can you bring up the score from last night's game? Yeah. Wait, what's wrong with party mode? It's just, you know, it's not the hot and fun, cool thing anymore. Nobody cares about hey, man. it. man. Mm -hmm. You got married. You got married mm -hmm. and, you know, the sex got boring. That's what happens. You're actually bringing up the score. I know, it was 99 and 91. It's close, at least. It was really close. They couldn't fucking hit water out of a boat if they were jumping out of a boat. Yeah. The water. Okay. Well, that's in the water. I assume the boat's in the water, not in the harbor. Because well, it'd be harder if they were just like on a road, on a trailer. It's up to your interpretation, really. That's true. Did you, um, I appreciate that in your moment of pain, I chose to text you a picture of them losing and then a picture of my face and then you tweeted it. That was my favorite thing that happened last it's night. It's the funniest thing. I like, love it so much. It's really funny. I can't tell if it really annoys you or if it makes you laugh or it's a combination of both. No, it's I'm both. hoping it's both. Oh, it's both, yeah. Okay. I look and I go, God damn it. It's I mean, party mode seems pretty consistent here. 21, 20, 24, 24. 40K for Far Cry. We should probably do more games that aren't released. It just, yeah, exactly. 24. Yeah. It's just, you know, it was it was the hot new hot new uh, person on the streets. It was, right? se it was yeah. sexy, man. It was sexy and, and it had some nobody, legs. Now nobody cares about it. Like, I just, I'm annoyed. Mm -hmm. I'm just like... The Fortnite one just went up. That's going to do well. People yeah. love Fortnite. They love me doing well. I did well on that one. My favorite. This this Rainbow Six one, like I said, you should have dumped and then just put in the one where we screwed <laughs> over and you got real mad. That one's Is that be, <laughs> that's going up in a while. Can you just stop like, being afraid of it and just put it out? No, it's because I want to space them out. I hate doing, like, a big first... That's why I said kill this one. It was still good. It was well, fun. apparently you're good enough just for okay, 17,000 people. Oh. You're good, Andy. You're good. I'm sorry. It's been a rough week for you. Your show's yeah. tanking, your team lost. Uh, annoying trolls on the internet just fuck with you constantly. I heard he's in a rough spot with Yves Gilmont, too. Relationship. Oh, I'm sorry Rocky. about that. Voulez-vous vous chez ma vez Did you see they, catch, they caught the Golden State Killer? Yeah, yeah. Did you know about him? No. Okay. Why does he look it. like Deathstroke? Because that's, I mean, that's what it was back in the day when things like this started. Man, everyone just looks like Deathstroke? From he, 1976 he, he to... people, right? Jesus, 86. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Accused of 12 killings and 45 rapes across Jesus California. Jesus Christ. Who is yeah, it? Who, who, do they, who do they think it is? Uh, I really hope we get an HBO special. They will. There will like, be a, and Al Pacino will play this guy. Because Al Pacino plays every character on HBO made for HBO sure movies. I want to be season three. Oh, that would be cool. That would be great. I recently uh, uh, got HBO back, so I'm going back through Silicon Valley. i got to go back through with Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's a whole brave new world out there. Yeah! I'm brave excited. new world, son! I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, that this is... This shit's fucking terrible. Don't be, don't be horrible people. Don't well, kill people. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that... Rape people. I don't think anyone out there is on, on being like, should I be a serial killer? I think this guy's very You know what? Somebody out there is, and we just put them on the right track. They were like, you know what? I'm not going to do that today. Oh, Instead, chat, I'm going to go to... What? Chat saying it's an ex-cop. 
What? <coughs> oh my god, get off the air. We gotta figure this out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank Did Gary so Witta come in? Probably. If not, Tim's here and he's got a beard. Oh, he's gonna be a bitch. In there. I love you all. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. PT. Until then, uh, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel because I like seeing that sub button go up. And make sure you hit the little bell notification so you know when you guys can hear my sexy voice every day. Here it is right here. I'm in your earbuds. Put this right in your earbuds. Until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. Cool, Greg. Cut the feed.